Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay, guys, got one here for you, and it's from Zach Rector, and a video saying that the BIS demands a quote critical update unquote. So I thought I would address this because I saw a part of this and you know found it kind of interesting so as always thought I'd just add in my little two cents here. So we've got the Bank for International Settlements and they were basically at Davos which is the World Economic Forum that they're doing it's a regular meeting that they do and they basically discuss you know many things in regards to the global economy and global finance and that kind of stuff. And we've got here um, Cecilia Skingsley who basically spoke at the forum and so this is where the intrigue came in you know in regards to xrp so let's go through this we've got head cecilia skingsley spoke at the world economic forum 24 emphasizing that it is critical to upgrade the global financial system to meet users growing expectations of fast cheap transparent safe and 24 7 services both domestic and cross border. Okay, I mean, sounds like XRP, right? Really does. So, to me, I'm up and down with this, right? I'm kind of weary, but I'm also kind of excited because it does very much sound like XRP. And we do know that XRP is really the obvious choice. When we're talking about everything that was just mentioned here, XRP is, of course, the obvious choice, right? But I'm going to quickly just show you something here. We've got the BIS here exploring Ethereum's automated market maker for cross-border payments. Yeah, and as you can see there, now you've got the logo, Bank for International Settlement, so it's the same BIS. And, you know, they used Ethereum for their project. And so when I see this, while it sounds very much like you'd be talking about XRP, I don't know if the BIS are going to want to use XRP. Now, why wouldn't they want to use XRP? I really have no idea. It makes no sense to me. Like, why would you choose Ethereum over XRP? I'm absolutely clueless about that. The only thing I can honestly say as to what might make sense is that the lawsuit was going on at the time and maybe they felt due to the lawsuit going on, they thought, okay, let's just go with something that's got no issues at the moment legally and we already know that ethereum got the free pass so they're obviously in the government's good books as of right now and so maybe they felt like that would be the better choice i don't know like is it even like corruption like because we already know that ethereum paid their way like it's seeming like there's a lot of shady stuff that went on with ethereum so maybe this is a thing where they got like favoritism because of the money and stuff and the bribes that they were willing to pay to be in the government's favor i don't know i can't say for sure but um this is really interesting because it sounds like xrp i mean the one thing i will say as well is it's very possible that maybe they were just testing ethereum just to see how this all works and then once they've tested it they're like okay we can see what crypto can do now now let's look at what cryptos are the most efficient to do this kind of thing and that's when they stumble upon xrp i really can't say for sure but the truth of the matter is and the fact of the matter is the BIS used Ethereum originally when I was testing their cross-border payments. Now, for me, I don't know why you would use Ethereum because to me, Ethereum is one of the worst cryptos you could use. So again, is it the bribery aspect? I, I don't know. I have no idea. But if you're looking at using cross-border payments for Ethereum, I just can't see why you're going to think that's going to be a good experience. If anything, it'll probably be a turnoff because the price fluctuations with the gas fees are going to be high it's slow like sometimes your payments can get declined like there's so much to it as to why there would be negatives in terms of using ethereum to do cross-border payments i really don't know what would have made them come to that logic now we could just maybe look at it from the aspect of the bis are still new to all this crypto stuff so maybe they're just thinking, hey, we'll just go with one of the bigger names, you know, like you've got Bitcoin, you've got Ethereum and you've got XRP. That's generally the top three that are spoken about. Now, again, I don't know if the lawsuit played a role. So maybe they might have said, OK, let's like put XRP to the side for a second and uh, we'll, we'll check out the next best one. Now, we know that Bitcoin is even slower than Ethereum. So, you know, that's an even worse choice if you was going to use Bitcoin and it's way more expensive because of how high the price is. So maybe this was like the next best thing, like let's just use Ethereum, you know, 
But to me, um, once they get clued up, the obvious answer realistically is XRP. So when it comes to this, I'm a, I'm in two minds. Like I'm really in two minds because I'm very aware that they've used Ethereum before. So is this a thing where they're going to use something else other than XRP? But then we already know the obvious answer if you was going to be looking at this type of use case it is xrp right like it just screams xrp so this would be the obvious answer so i'm kind of weary because i don't want to get myself too excited because i've seen proof before that they've not picked xrp but at the same time i'm like well surely eventually you're going to see that xrp would be the best solution for this problem so that makes me have that little bit of optimism to think surely common sense will prevail eventually and they will see how much more xrp is designed for this type of use case how much better it is at this type of use case so i really don't know what to say for sure to be completely honest um the fact that they're talking about this kind of thing i mean this is where i'm talking about with crypto technology guys like the stuff that crypto can provide these kinds of things will be a standard in the future so i'm not surprised that they're talking about this kind of stuff because what's happened is we've seen that these services are now available and so people want them, right? Like we're seeing that these kind of opportunities are available via cryptocurrency in terms of, you know, doing cross-border payments in seconds, cheap, secure, transparent, all that kind of stuff. Like, of course, people want that now because that's the new standard. And so it's just like when like a new phone comes out that just completely changes the whole landscape of phones, right? Like you think at one point, Nokia was like the staple of phones and then you had like Blackberry that come out and that changed the whole landscape and then Blackberry ultimately got taken over by Apple and the iPhone so you think about these phones that come out and just change the game and that's what we're talking about with this crypto technology it's changing the game of the financial landscape it's changing the way you would do payments going forward and of course when you know that this kind of stuff is available of course this is what people want who wants a slow payment system who wants a unsecure payment system who wants an expensive payment system you know all these old factors from the archaic system that we currently have right now nobody wants to use that kind of stuff right we want the new and improved system that we know is available so yeah this doesn't surprise me to see that this kind of stuff is being said um, doesn't surprise me at all and as i say i do think in the future this kind of service will be the standard you know i don't think we're going to be you know sticking to the old way why would we there's no benefits to it anymore you know it's about updating the new financial system now it's about turning it digital it's about going crypto so i do believe that will happen my only question is with the bis is are they going to do it via xrp i really don't know my only thing I could say is if the lawsuit was playing an impact and so maybe they just thought due to the legal uncertainty at the time, we'll kind of keep our distance. And now that that's over, we'll be willing to, you know, use XRP and try it out. That's my only logical reason I can think of, because I don't know anyone with any kind of crypto knowledge who would say, use Ethereum for cross-border payments. Like, come on, like if we all know about cryptos and what they do, and you know about Bitcoin, you know about Ethereum, you know about XRP. And you say, hey, you know, we need to do a project where we're just testing our cross-border payments. Who would really say Ethereum? Who in the right mind would say Ethereum? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's such a silly, silly answer to give Ethereum. Like, the obvious choice is XRP. So, I really can't say for sure. Uh, but just be careful guys because as I say there's proof there as you've seen that you know BIS did use Ethereum for me I think that just might be like a proof of concept just seeing how it all works just seeing if it is possible to do these kind of things seeing what their limitations are what the possibilities are and I think maybe once they've seen this and they're like yeah we're happy with what this crypto technology can do now let's look at what the most efficient crypto is for it yeah and maybe from there as we would expect they would then start looking and seeing XRP. But yeah, overall, I don't want to just get my hopes up too quickly here. Um, we don't know for sure. They've not picked XRP before, so they could easily not pick XRP again. You know, we already know, for example, with 
the uh, Federal Reserve doing FedNav. That doesn't use XRP, guys. And I've told you that before. I told you before it happened that XRP was not going to be utilized for the Federal Reserve. It's not. So, you know, like this one's a little bit different because they're talking about cross-border as well. Whereas um, FedNav was domestic. So that's why XRP wasn't used. But it would make more sense when we're talking cross-border now why XRP can be in this conversation. So time will tell, but very interesting nonetheless. But what do you guys think? XRP being used by the BIS. Do you like the sound of this? Do you think BIS are actually talking about XRP? Do you think that this will be good for XRP's price? Or do you not agree with this? Do you not think the BRS are actually referring to XRP? Or do you just not think that this is going to be good for XRP's price overall long term? Let me know your thoughts guys, I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like and subscribe. But until next time, take care.